Are y'all ready to play another exciting game of... Wow! That's really specific! All right then, let's meet today's contestant, shall we? First up, she's a daycare dietitian from Dover, Delaware, who loves Dotsons and dim sum. Please welcome Denise Darlington. Hi, Denise. Hi, Wink. I just want to say hello to my husband, Dave, and my kids, Dirk and Debbie. Next up, we have Nancy Newcastle from Newark, New Jersey. Nancy is a night nurse who loves Nickelback and gnocchi. Hi, Wink. I'm just so happy to be here. And last up, we've got Carol. Do you uh, have a last name, Carol? I do. Oh, and uh, what do you do for a living, Carol? I'd rather not say. Oh, okay, well, how about you say hi to some of your friends and family out there? Or maybe you want to tell us about your hobbies, Carol? I do not care for cilantro. Oh. Okay, well, so now that we've almost kind of met our contestants, let's get started and let's play. Wow, that's really specific. Okay, let's get to it. We asked 100 people, what is the best way to break up with someone? Nancy. Write him a letter, Wink. Uh-oh, looks like someone forgot the name of the show. Uh oh Let's see if it makes the board. Oh, two. Seems so easy on TV, Wink. Denise, Carol, there's obviously several higher scoring answers on the board. Denise. How are you breaking it off with that guy you've been dating? Or that gal? Hey, we don't judge here at, wow, that's really specific. Happy Gay Pride, Denise. Wink, I'm normal. I would send him a text. Oh. At 2.22 on a Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. And let's see how many people agree with you. Oh, board show 17, 17. That puts you in the lead, but there's still one answer, even higher than Denise's. Carol? Take them to the Olive Garden, the one in the shopping mall. It's a public place, so they'll be less likely to cause a scene when you break up with them. Then, right when you tell them you've had enough, of their passive aggressive shenanigans and you're ending it, you say, dinner's on me. Order anything you like. Wow, now that is really specific. Let's see if it's up there. Oh, too bad, Carol. Let's see what the other 81 people said, shall we? Take them to Applebee's. Oh, Applebee's. In the shopping mall, so you're in a public place where they would think twice before causing a scene. And right before you break up with them because you've had enough of their passive aggressive shenanigans and you're ending it, you say, dinner's on me. Order anything you like. <sighs> oh, Carol, looks like you picked the wrong moderately priced chain restaurant. <sighs> so close. All right, let's go to round two. We asked 100 people if you could eat just one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? And remember, be specific. Denise. Macaroni and cheese, but made with cottage cheese and bacon bits. Oh, oh cottage cheese? Oh, it's so moist and creamy. Well, let's see how many people are craving the same thing. Oh, it's so smart. So delicious. Nancy. Well, I'm a real chocoholic, Wink, so I'm gonna have to say a double fudge brownie with Rocky Road ice cream. <laughs> well, someone's got a sweet tooth, huh? Mm. Let's see if it's on the board. Oh, 11. Damn it all to hell. There's still that number one answer up there. Carol? A 
chef salad, but with no turkey, no ham, no tomatoes, no egg, no cheese, no onions, no cucumber, no croutons, and low-fat Thousand Island dressing on the side. Audience, what do you think of that answer? Wow, that's really specific. Let's take a look at the board. Oh! Board show zero. Let's take a look at the real answer here. A chef salad with no turkey, no ham, no tomatoes, no egg, no cheese, no onion, no cucumber, no croutons, with low fat Thousand Island dressing. Wait, not on the side. Actually, on the salad, Carol. So close, so close. So now we've got Denise with one game and Nancy with another game. And as you know, for whatever reason, round three is winner takes all year. I don't know why. We asked 100 people, describe your perfect day. Perfect day. <laughs> Carol. My perfect day. I would wake up at 6 a.m. because I'm very excited to go on my favorite game show. For breakfast, I would have half of a grapefruit because I don't want to gain weight. Then I'd have a cup of decaf coffee because I don't want to be too jumpy. Then I'd put on a silk leopard print blouse a little bit of mascara, and my favorite lipstick because I don't want to look like an overpainted whore. Silk. Then at the studio, backstage, I would fill my purse with granola bars and licorice from the craft service table. I would also shamelessly flirt with Dave, Denise's husband. <laughs> during the game, I would do very poorly during the first two rounds. And then, during the third round, I would rise like a phoenix from the ashes not only to win the game, but to dazzle the audience with a brilliant dance number. Hit it! Yeah.